Hi, it's Andy, and in this video, we're going to study Thistle and Weeds by Mumford and Sons. Well, they didn't write the song, but um, I'm studying their performance of the song. Here we go. So, the way you start it out is you tune your guitar to Dad Gad tuning. That's D, A, D, G, A, D. Dad Gad. Okay, if you don't know what Dad Gad is, then watch the video on Dad Gad tuning. Okay, so here we go. Your guitar is in Dad Gad tuning. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to start with um, the very intro of the song where he plays. Okay, this is just a basic roll, and uh, we're holding a chord. So let's learn the chord. Here we go. So I'm starting with my middle finger. <clears throat> That's finger two, and I'm playing the 12th fret on the low D string. Uh, you have to use your middle finger for this chord. Okay, then the next note we're going to play, third finger is going to play a note, 12th fret on the second string. And then your pinky finger is going to play a note, 12th fret on the high string. So I've got 12th fret here, 12th fret there, 12th fret here. Okay, and then I'm, uh, once I've got that chord, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do this finger roll. And uh, the way it goes is thumb, index, middle, ring. Pinky finger doesn't play. And here's how you set your fingers on the string. Start by putting your thumb on the low string. That's the string six. Then you're going to put your uh, index finger on the third string then your middle finger on the second string then your ring finger on the first string so I've got six three two one we're not really playing the fourth string or the fifth string for this passage okay here we go so you got string six with the thumb string three index finger string two middle finger string one ring finger. Play those four notes in a row. Okay, now put all the fingers back on again. Put the fingers on the strings in position, then play again. Then replace the fingers on the strings, plant the fingers there, and then play again. Okay, and that's the move, so we're just going to go slow. Here we go. Now, as soon as you play the pattern, put the fingers back on and immediately start to play again. So it's really important that you place the fingers right on the strings, then you play. You don't want to do it this way. We're not doing a hunt and peck method. Of, Gee, I hope I hit the right string. You just put your fingers right on the strings and then you can't miss. So let's go a little faster now. A little faster. Real fast. Okay, that's what you hear in about, say, the first 20 seconds of the tune. There's just a cymbal crescendo few notes on the keyboard and um, you're just playing this chord and there's a big crescendo okay then after about 20 seconds of playing the chord with the finger roll we finally hear the first riff of the tune let's work on that so learn that. So you know what chord we're playing already. It's the same chord we played before. 12th fret on all three strings. Notice I'm not using my index finger yet. That comes into play later. Later in the song you will use your index finger to play a note on the 10th fret string 3. Turns this into a D minor chord. Okay, but we don't have to learn that right now. So for now the index finger is just floating. 
you're on the 12th fret, this is a D chord. Okay, and then just slide that chord down to the 7th fret. It's an A chord. Slide it down to the 5th fret. That gives you a G chord. And then he just kind of backtracks and replays the same chords again. Back to the 7th fret, back to the 5th fret. And then finally he just takes his fingers off and plays all the open strings. But notice his fingers are going to just float above the strings because he is going to put them right back down in the same locations again. So you don't really want to just take your hand away because then you have to set everything back up again. Okay, so here we go. You know the chords. It's 12th fret, that's a D, 7th fret's a G, 5th fret's an A, 7th fret's, oops, I, I got that mixed up, 12th fret's a D, 7th fret's an A, 5th fret's a G, 7th fret's an A, back to 5th fret, which is G, played three measures, and then open strings. There's the chords for the riff. So it sounds like this. Let's practice that together. Ready, set, go. D, A, G, A, G, 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 open D. There we go. Now all we have to do is learn the finger picking and you'll have the riff. Okay, so here we go, the finger picking. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, copy what we see in the video. He uses his thumb and his index finger. I'd probably use my thumb and my middle finger, but I'm just going to do it like the video, thumb and index finger. Those are the only fingers that are going to play for our finger picking pattern. Sometimes they play together and sometimes they go separately. Um, the rhythm for this uh, finger picking pattern is the old standard hot cup of tea, if you've ever heard of that. Hot cup of tea, hot cup of tea, hot cup of tea, hot cup of tea. If you've never done that particular two over three polyrhythm, then something you might want to consider is just learning it as if you're a drummer. After all, the picking has just two digits, the thumb and the index, back and forth, and so we can study it by doing this. Okay, so we got hot cup of tea, hot cup of tea, hot cup of tea, hot cup of tea. And basically what happens is on hot, you hit both hands together, and then you're going to go back and forth, cup of tea. So that's left, right, left. So to break it down, we got together, left, right, left. That's the pattern. Just keep doing it over and over. Together, left, right, left. Together, left, right, left. Together, left, right, left. That gives you a total number of two hits on the right hand, and it gives you a total number of three hits on the left hand. So in other words, your right hand is going one, two, and your left hand is going one, two, three. And when those things happen at the same time, you have two and three at the same time. It's a two over three pattern. Hot cup of tea. Okay, now if this were your thumb and this were your finger, it would go hot cup of tea. Let's learn that. So we're going to start just by putting our thumb on the low string, and we're going to put our finger on the high string. So you start by hitting the strings together, then the thumb goes by itself, and then the finger goes by itself, and then the thumb goes by itself. So in other words, we have together, thumb, finger, thumb. It makes hot cup of tea. Same thing we were just playing. Hot cup of tea, hot cup of tea, hot cup of tea. Together, thumb, finger, thumb. Together, thumb, finger, thumb. Together, thumb, finger, thumb. Together, thumb, finger, thumb. There it is. Okay, now 
let's hear how that sounds if you're holding the chord. There it is. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to play the pattern once on the D chord on the 12th fret. Then we're going to play the pattern once on the A chord on the 7th fret. Then we're going to play the pattern once on a G chord on the 5th fret. Then we're going to go back and play the pattern once on an A chord on the 7th fret. Then you're going to play the pattern three times in a row on the G chord on the 5th fret. Then you're going to finish it off with the pattern once on the open strings. There's your riff. Let's practice it together. I'll shout out the uh, fret numbers. Ready, set. Go! 12, 7, 5, 7, 5, 5, 5, open. There it is. Okay, if you have trouble, just sing Hot Cup of Tea. Let's try it that way. Ready, set, go. Hot cup of tea, hot cup of tea, hot cup of tea, hot cup of tea. Okay, now there is one variation that you have to learn, and that is that the thumb sometimes jumps from one string to another. So in other words, the thumb does play string six, but then later the thumb is going to play string four, and then it's going to jump back to string six again. Okay, why does it do that? Well, string six is a D, string four is a D. So if you go from string six to string four, You have an octave D. It makes it sound more rich instead of just playing the same note all the time. So let's talk about that pattern. We're still going to play hot cup of tea, except we're going to play together, and then the thumb is going to play the fourth string. Finger, of course, stays on string one, and then the thumb goes back to string six. So in other words, six, four, one, six. Together, four, one, six. In other words, six and one together, four, one, six. 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 You might just want to sit there and play that for an hour on the open strings, just so that your hands get used to it. If you sit there and repeat that over and over like that for an hour every day, by the end of the week, you've got this song totally down. So just practice that together on six and one. Four, one, six. Uh, so together, thumb, finger, thumb. Okay, now how does that sound with the chords? Let's go for it. Ready, set, go. Together, four, one, six. Together. Six together, four one 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 six. It helps to say it out loud. If you say it out loud, it'll prevent you from messing up. Okay, now here we go faster. Real fast, here we go. On three count. A one, two, three. fingers away from the strings to play the open strings I keep my fingers in the shape of the chord because I'm just gonna go back to the chord again so don't let your fingers fly out in space because then you have trouble setting the chord up again okay now let's blaze through it really fast here we go one two three
Okay, I'm better actually with my middle finger, so you might want to try that. So substitute in the middle finger instead of the thumb. So together, thumb, middle, thumb. Together, thumb, middle, thumb. Together, thumb, middle, thumb. The middle finger is longer, and I don't know, I'm just more of a player that prefers to play that way.